Welcome to So Janelle. I'm your host, Janelle So, opening the month with a love story because, of course, it is February. It is the love month. So, today we have a love story of immigration and representation because that's what we are all about. Now, if you are familiar still or well connected to uh, Philippine show business, I'm sure you have heard of the names JR and Mika. JR has been reigning as the Philippines Prince of R&B and Mika is his equally accomplished lovely wife who works as a model, performer, singer as well and an actress. So they recently moved to Los Angeles and here is their immigration story. Like with me and JR, we basically live our lives the way we want to. We kind of see everything as an adventure together. It's just so fun to explore and to build something more fulfilling with with someone that you choose to spend your life with. JR and Mika, thank you so much for coming and welcome. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. <laughs> um, I know that I have heard you moved here. Was it 2021, 2020? 2021. Because 2020 was when you got married. Yes. In the Philippines. And so that brings me to my very first question. You guys are accomplished in the Philippines. Prince of R&B in the Philippines and all the awards. I mean, you had your name out there. Why turn your back on that? I mean, we never really turned our back on it. We're just kind of prioritizing uh, my family at the moment. Just spending more time with them, you know, especially after the pandemic. Um, kind of realize what's more important in life. I think turning back is the right term for it. It's more like um, we are grateful for what we established, our foundation in the Philippines and everything that we created there. But it's also nice to be able to elevate from there and expand. For me personally, I've always wanted to come back to the U.S. and try to uh, pursue my craft here again because I actually started in the U.S. Um, years and years ago after college and um, it, was, it was always something that I wanted to explore again and coming back here with a wealth of experience from the Philippines and the industry there is just feels better to be here now. JR, this is almost like a second migration for you. Born and raised here, you migrated to the Philippines and then you built a career there and then a second time now moving back. What was the difference between moving to the Philippines and then now moving back to the States? I feel like um, it was a, a pleasant surprise because when we got here, um, just so many shows were just, just happened. I mean, I don't even know how many shows we did in a year, but we just kept going and kept building on it. And I've always wanted to come back and really pursue a career out here because this is home to me also. This is, uh, I also see Philippines as home as well, but uh, this is where I was, I was born. It's, it's different. And coming back here, working, it's parang nakaka proud na parang, you know, I'm able to sustain it and, and just and keep building from what we've been building in the Philippines and take it here. What's it like starting over for you, especially? I feel like what I'm learning is there's so much value in simplicity. Like making it in the Philippines, making a name, getting your foot in the door is not an easy feat. Right. So I look at it as, hey, cool, I was able to get my foot in the door and make something of myself in the Philippines. I can just do the same thing in another place. Why not? I have all the skills. I use the same brain, the same body and vessel that, that I'm in and the same talents. And if you're open to learning and expanding yourself to grow and adapt, and I feel like if you just open your mind to that, It'll be, it'll be okay and everything works out. And the universe basically puts you in places where you're meant to be anyway. These are some of the problems that I hear, okay? The most common thing that I hear is culture shock. Where is that culture shock? Not for me. I wouldn't say for me because I was fortunate enough to grow up in an American school system. For college, I went to NYU. Mm. I have basically been raised by a very Americanized system. Yeah. Even though I'm fully Filipino, Born and raised in the Philippines, Filipino passport holder. <laughs> nagtatagalo. Oh, nagtatagalo. And very ingrained in the Philippine world. Also. Yeah. Homesickness, though. Homesickness. Oh, friends. that's hard. 
I miss my family so much. Well, we're so lucky technology is where it's at now. Right. But I guess a tip that I would give to, um, to other fellow Filipinos that move, you don't have to pressure yourself to, to build or be in a community right, right. away. You can do it very slowly. Mm -hmm. Even just finding a friend like or that. somebody that you can trust to help you out. Right. Especially mm -hmm. when it's like on a rainy day because we have to do everything ourselves here. And <laughs> all the chores, laundry, <laughs> cooking, cleaning, everything. And if there's an emergency, you find those key people in yeah. your life, in your new place yeah. or your, your new area where you're living because it's so important to have someone to call. Yeah. We're going into February now, the love month. So we're going to ask you about that too. I mean, as husband and wife, what's it like um, moving to the States and starting a life here? So it's such a big difference. I even talked to my other friends who have moved here or tried to move here alone and they're single. And the biggest difference is you have a partner immediately. Like instantly you have someone who has your back, and who supports you and you support them and you kind of do things together and help each other out already and the company like you're never alone if you are feeling lonely you automatically have someone to talk to that's a big difference and it definitely boosts your morale in trying to figure things out um, and even more so when that person is actually from here Right. So what, what do you find yourself giving her tips, explaining things to her? Yeah, I guess so. But it's not it's not like um I'm keeping tabs or anything, but um it's just natural. Right. You know, just as a partner. But um it's reciprocal because, you know, she also helps me, I help I help her and it makes it easier to live here and to all the Kababayans watching that's yeah, that's important to find a good partner that's always positive and just always trying to get to the next level and, and help. But um, yeah, kung wala kayong partner, you can find people because that's what's important is like you have help. And if you link up with people, your rent will be cheaper. Okay. You know, your your internet will be cheaper. Diba? Kaya you have to really look for ano, some support. I think the sense of community that I found, especially in LA, the Phil Am community is really supportive here. Mm -hmm. It's so pleasantly surprising and yeah. it's nice because you can really tell that the that value that Filipinos are known for being hospitable and being mm. you know very family oriented it's so refreshing and it's so nice to see it when you're not in the Philippines sure. um, like, I feel like that's so cool that we yeah. have that because the generation uh, that that has been here they're they've been working and they know what hard work is coming to a new country and working for what you have and building this life, kaya, they understand when when new people come in, they, they want to help, you know, they want to give their wisdom. Kaya, Mabuhay, Filipino, yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know, we keep elevating all around the world, not just here in LA. Like, we travel everywhere doing shows, and when we see Pinoys, mga entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs, they're giving um, their wisdom to the next generation. It's, it's really nice. And it's so inspiring too because you really see people that work so hard and they build a beautiful life somewhere else completely for their families and you're one of those people oh, and it's you. so inspiring to see your work too thank you thank you a lot of people also say that america makes couples stronger because you rely on each other for chores the and things like that right did you find that is it is that true for both of you yes <laughs> you're laughing <laughs> We have a lot of chores, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah. And he's always on my case about keeping my sp our space clean. <laughs> so from here, you know, right. and... we're used to doing that. But um, I don't know. To me, it's just like reminders. But to her, it's like parang nagging na. Because <laughs> I mean, I guess that's how I felt when my mom used to tell me like, pick up your your clothes, wash the dishes, do your laundry, ganito. But um, yeah, and it's it's different different buo here. For me, that's such, I think the hardest adjustment is to how to manage your time because we only have 24 hours in a day, right? And then you have, if you're an artist, you're basically your own boss mm -hmm. and you have so many things to do to be able to, you know, like put energy into your craft and your career and all this. 
But before you get to that, you have to wash the dishes, right. you have to do the laundry, and also when you work from home too, as artists, sometimes you do that, right? You're working from home, and you pass the kitchen, and there's dishes. So, oh, okay, I'm gonna wash the dishes first, and then you know, oh, and then you see, you know, the shoes are out of place, or oh, there's laundry in the like, and then then time has passed, and you haven't done anything for work. It's all household I chores. Feel like, I feel like <laughs> whether you're a, a lawyer, an artist, or a firefighter or whatever like you still have to do that it's like chores. here in america you have to do it it's not like the philippines you have a maid yes you know here it's just a necessity talaga and it's a way of life really and it makes me appreciate so much the lifestyle we have in the philippines right <laughs> Do you have tips now? Have you learned tips from JR? Like any dishwashing tips or laundry tips oh, yeah. or cleaning tips? <laughs> I need that, yep. right?